today we will teach you how to make a fortune teller. So, um, I will do the first fold, then my sister will copy me. Yes, okay. I will. You first, you fold it like this. And then you try to get the top and that corner nice and lined up. Remember, nice and lined up at the top corner and pointy. I know. I can't do that. Okay. Then, after you've done that, you would take... I did not do that. You would take your scissors and, and then take the paper and then just cut off that excess strip of paper. Now I'm going to do the key bit. Cut off the bottom bit. Okay, so now that you've cut off the bottom bit, you would want to open it. And then you don't need your scissors anymore. Then you would take one of the corners and then fold it in so it meets the middle crease. Okay. Then you would take another corner, corner and also fold it in so it meets the middle crease. Then, as you might expect, you would do the same for the other two corners. It's okay if it's not perfect, and if it's a little more square on one end than the other, it won't really matter when we're done with the fortune teller. Just like that. Then, you would flip it over, and then take one of the corners, then fold it in, just like that. And then again, as you might expect, you would do the same with all the other corners. <laughs> then once you've done that, you would take four different colored markers. And you can choose any color you want, it doesn't matter. And for this example, I, We'll use green, pink, red, and yellow. I'm going to use pink, yellow, like sort of a brownish color, and green. So, once you have your four different colors, you would color in each one of these squares, one of those different colors. I'll start with the red. I'm going to start with the brown. It doesn't matter if it's a little messy as as long as the person, when you're done, you're doing the fortune teller to um, can at least see that there's some of that color on there. Now that you've done one square, you can color the rest. Okay, if you get a little bit on the table or whatever you're doing it on, you can probably wash that off. The pink is turning out to be more gray. So My pink turned out to be like magenta. Also, make sure to put on colors that you can actually spell because you're going to need to be able to spell those colors um, when you're doing your fortune color. And now you don't really have to use colored paper like us. We're just using construction paper because that's really all we could find. You can use white paper if you want to and if you have it. Yeah. And try not to use more than one of the same color. So now that now that you've done that, you I usually use a pencil. So you take a pencil, I'll flip it up and flip it pencil. over. And then, and then 
I'll turn it. I'll turn it so you can see. You were right numbers one through eight. And this is sort of difficult because I'm technically writing upside down. That's why this three is backwards. And I think my two is also backwards, so I'll just erase it. And I think this pencil just broke. So I guess I'll just write the numbers facing my way and then turn it to you so you can see when I'm done. Do you mind giving me that pencil for a second? Yes, once I'm done. So now that you've done that, it should look something like this. Yeah. Now while I'm doing this, he can tell you the next step. So after you've done that, um, you could take a marker or a pencil and then and then you would open it up and then it's best to do one at a time because it can get confusing. Then you would write your fortunes in these spaces. So, but make sure to do this when no one else is looking. We're just going to do it so you can see for the... Um, little demonstration that we're doing right now. And you can decide how many good ones or bad ones you can put in your fortune teller. It's you can put like two good ones or two bad ones, one good one, three bad ones, it doesn't really matter. And it's sometimes funny if you do some ridiculous ones like you have to do the dirty, no, I can't really fit this in there, so make sure you have enough space. Dirty laundry. So if someone gets that fortune, then they'll be pretty upset, and but also think it's hilarious. Now, since once you've done that, you write the rest of your fortunes. Yeah, and then, and then, so, how do I say this? We don't really have to show you all of the other fortunes that we're writing, because that would take a little while. So then, you can just pause the video here if you want to, and then, so you could, so once you wrote all the fortunes, you would flip it back over so the color side is facing up. Then you would take it and then fold it in half like that. Make sure it's sort of nice and lined up. Then once you've got it like in half, you would take it and fold it again. Then you would open that and then fold it the other direction. And then I'll wait for my sister to do this part too. Yeah, and if you mess up, it's okay. Just your mom or dad to come help you. Should I do it? No. You I can. You can go to the next. Okay. So once you've got that, you'll it'll appear something like this. So you'll want to open up these flaps and then slip your fingers inside and press them together to make um like sort of a pyramid shape. And you do that on both sides and then clamp them together to get this. Mine is a little messy. Some squares are bigger than the others, but that's okay. So then you should get something like this. And then you might want to practice doing this once you've got it. So once you've got that, you should get this. And as I said, you want to practice doing this. And you'll need that for when you're using your fortune teller. Mm -hmm. Then I'll do a demonstration to my sister. Okay, now that we're prepared for our demonstration, then I can do this to my sister and we'll show you how it works so you can do it to other people. You may already know how to do this, but may have forgotten, so this would be a little reminder. If you already know this and you don't need to um, see this bit, you can just fast forward to a different bit. Okay, so now we will start the demonstration. Pick a color. 
P-I-N-K pink. Then you then you would pick a number. Two. One, two. Then you would tell them to pick another number. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then after they pick two numbers and a color, you would open it up completely and then remember the last number they picked. So in this case, my sister picked six. Then, so then you would open up the six flap and then they would get their fortune. You have to do the dirty laundry. Seriously? So now it seems about time to end the video. So thanks for watching. I hope you had a great time. Goodbye. Goodbye.